In this video, we will learn how we can create contract tests for gRPC services that use a protobuf protocol using PAX plugin capability and including publishing to Packflow. PAX plugin framework enables you to extend PAX set of transports, content types, or in the case of today's example, both. Our example is an area calculator service. Let's take a look at the proto file. Here we can see the proto file contains a single RPC called Calculate1, which accepts a polymorphic payload called Shape Message, which may accept one or more shapes, such as a circle, a square, a rectangle, and so on. It will return back an area response, which contains the area of the given shape. First up, we need to install the plugin. We will use the packed plugin CLI for this job. Pack stores a registry of official plugins that we can query, and we can see that Protobuf plugin is one of them. Let's install that plugin. Okay, now the plugin is installed, we can write and verify contracts for gRPC and Protobuf services. Let's take a look at the consumer test. You can see it looks a lot like a regular pack test. However, the key difference is that we need to use a protobuf plugin specific dialect to set up the interaction. We can see here we're specifying that we need to use a plugin and down here we're specifying the protobuf required to encode this into the contract. And we also need to know the RPC that is being sent over the wire, in this case, calculate one. And of course, just like every other pack test, we need to specify the explicit request we're going to make and what response we require for our test to work. Further down, we can see the test itself sets up a gRPC consumer to send request to the mock servers port, and then it checks the message being sent is what was expected. And of course, we have some assertions on the response back from this service. So let's go ahead and run this test, and it should pass. Excellent. We should now see as well that a pack file has been generated in the output directory, which contains that interaction and any kind of plugin specific content required to be able to verify or render this contract. Let's now go ahead and publish this to Packflow. Once we do that, our providers can then verify it. We will use the CLI for this, which is the recommended approach. Note that I have the Packflow credentials set in my environment variables in order for this command to work. Let's now take a look at the published contract in Packflow. Okay, here is our unverified contract. Let's dive in to take a quick look. Note that despite the contract being generated by a plugin with previously unknown content type, Packflow is able to display a view of the contract. This is because plugins may include markdown with the interactions in order to render them in the user interface or other documentation. You can see here, this is our rendered markdown and this is the rest of the contract. Now we need to verify the contract. To verify a contract, we will use the Pack Provider Verify CLI, which are the language and environment agnostic way to test provider APIs. First, we need to start our gRPC provider service, which I've done in this terminal. And you can see it's running on port 60,832. I'm now going to run the verify CLI, targeting the provider called Area Calculator Provider from Packflow. We're gonna publish the provider verification results, the version, disable additional logging, and specify the target, which is gonna be localhost port 60832. This is the provider we're verifying. If I execute this command, it's going to fetch the pack from the broker and it's going to verify this against the locally running provider. And you can see that it's passed. Let's now view the verified contract in Packflow. We can now see that the pack has been verified by provider version 1.0.0 and each of the interactions within the contract has been verified. Because these results have been uploaded to that Packflow, we can now leverage tools such as counter deploy to gate releases and determine compatibility between services. With the Pact Protobuf plugin, you can now prevent a number of classes of breaking changes to your gRPC and Protobuf based services. 
I hope this video was helpful.